For anonymous, you cite some of the words that are in the title. This will usually be the title of the book or the title of the article, which is similar to APA. Remember, you use quotation marks around something that is part of something bigger. So a chapter use quotation marks, but a book in a chapter, the book uses underline or italics. So for example here, on free hair, then we cite study finds 128. So study finds is probably a, uh, an article in a newspaper or a smaller chapter in a larger book. So we use the quotation marks and then the page that this information is on is page 127. The book, College Bound Seniors, and here we have a book, so the book uses italics, that is writing at the angle. And the pages we're looking at are 132 to 133. Try not to cite anonymous using the word anonymous. That's different in APA, but in MLA, it's discouraged to use the word anonymous. Books and reports are italicized or underlined, as we just said. So let's look at another example here. Reading at Risk, a survey of literary reading and in America. So here we can see that beginning from right here all the way down to America, the words there are italic, which is the same as underline, remember? And that means that's the title of something larger, like a book. So inside this book, it notes that despite an apparent decline in reading during the same period, and here's a quotation, the number of people doing creative writing of any genre, not exclusively literary works, increased substantially between 1982 and 2002. End of quotation. So this is a quotation, so we need to say where did that quotation come from? And it's, it is inside that book, but we need to be specific. So here it's the chapter inside the book, which is called Chapter Reading 3. We know it's a chapter because it has quotation marks around it. So this may actually be a very specific piece of that book that just says this bit here. Psychological issues have been cited as a major source of societal cost, the price of insanity, 56. So page 56, and a chapter or a part of something bigger, chapter of a book maybe, or an article inside of something bigger. What happens when you have two citations together? How can you put them together? You need to put them in an order. That order is alphabetical order. If you have multiple authors and you just use their name, what if you have the same author but different papers in different years? Let me go over that again. One case is you have an idea, you write the idea, and this idea is not one person's idea, but many other people have researched this. So you've taken it from multiple papers, so you have multiple different authors from different papers. How do you put them together? By alphabetical order of the first author's name. Right? What happens when you have one author that has many papers from different years and now you put them together in one citation. How do you order them? You order them by year, by the date. Let's take a look at an example. So here we have training materials are available, Department of Veterans Affairs. Now this is not a person, but when we don't have a person, sometimes we can use the name of the organization. So this organization is Department of Veteran Affairs, comma, 2001, comma, 2003. That means we have two papers. One paper, two paper. We have two research papers that we've drawn from and we're going to use a comma and in, in year order, by year. 
2001 the earliest year, 2003 the later year. So you order it by the year. How about this example here? Past research, Google, 1990, 2006 in press. So now we have three papers, one, two, three, and we order them by the earliest date first. 1990, 2006 in press means it's at the publishers, but it's not finished yet. Same author, same date. What are we going to do then? This has actually happened sometimes. So here we have an author, Dewberry and Reed. Remember, we use the ampersand here because it's inside the parentheses. Derryberry, <laughs> Derryberry, what an interesting name, and Reed. 2005, 2005. That is the same year. Those are the same authors. How can we put them together and the reader can actually find this? Well, we're going to use letter A and letter B. So this means that this paper is going to be the A paper, the second paper is going to be the B paper. In our reference list then, we need to specify A and B also, next to the, next to the date also. So this is just a way to clarify them here and in our reference.